This is an Auto Sleepers Burford. A couple of interesting things about this. Firstly, as you've probably spotted, it's based on the Mercedes chassis, so 163 horsepower and rear wheel drive. But the other thing about it is it is almost eight meters long. It's a monster. It's got a fantastic interior, which I'll show you. But this is, a, yeah, a real luxury piece of kit. Let's have a wander around the outside first of all. Just point out a couple of things. It's got the built-in LPG system, so you don't have gas bottles. You just fill up the LPG tank on board. That's a water filler. 240 volt goes in here. These are quite neat. That allows you to plug into satellite TV if you have it on the pitch that you're on. And that one there is allowing you to pump water up into the water tank. So if you don't have a hose, you can fill it from a barrel and pump it straight into there. That one is the cassette for the toilet. If we come right around to the back, this one's got the bike rack on it. They have the pre-drilled or standard, the bike rack is an option. Reversing camera on this one as well, that's up at the top. And if we carry on round, we'll see that it's got the rather funky Mercedes alloy wheels on it, of course. This is interesting. This is a side access to a storage area inside the vehicle. And I'll show you that when we go inside. Worth pointing out, these are lockable, so you do have the security there. And again, on this side, it's got the premium pack, so you have things like the... Um, that one is 240-volt power, so you want to plug a TV or something in, you can do. That one is an LPG outlet, so if you want to plug a barbecue in, that's where that would go. This one's also got the awning that extends out from here. And the light over the door is also a drip rail, so any water coming off runs down the outside of the doors and not on you as you're coming in and out. This is quite nice, it's like a little boot locker, so that doesn't go into the vehicle, that's completely separate. So you've got muddy boots, chuck them in there, you don't get dirt inside the motorhome. But yeah, let's come right back here and have a look at the whole thing, because <laughs> that's a big chunk of vehicle, isn't it? Let's go and look inside. So we'll step in through here. This opens like so, there's a bin built into the door just there and then there's a little button that we can find here and that will extend the step out. Another thing they all have on these is uh, pre-fittings for a TV. So you've got power socket here, so 12 volt socket there for example. Uh, there's the aerial socket here, satellite socket there and that means you can fit a TV up here and it's all ready to go. If we come right on in, this one's got the carpet, so you can have these so it's just like a wooden floor, or you can pop these into place, and you've got the nice plush carpet, so that's a nice touch. We'll come right up to the front, first of all. I mentioned it's a Mercedes, and so that means that you get the nice Mercedes seats with these extending sections, very comfortable. You've got the latest Mercedes steering wheel on here. You've got Mercedes MBUX. Um, navigation systems and phone systems, all that kind of stuff. So it's really up to date and really nicely done. Feels very nice indeed. These have all got blinds that come across in places like this. So all of these will black out at night. And of course, these seats both swivel round to extend your lounge area when you're at rest. You've got a big opening hatch up above so a bit more ventilation, a bit more light, and again, every single window has got these screens that come across. And if we spin right on round, I like the funky lighting that you put in along the top of places like this. This is all storage up in behind here, and up in behind here. That one there gives you remote control access to the heating system from an app on your phone. It means that if you're away from the vehicle, you can put the heating on if you're heading home and want to get it all nicely warmed up before you arrive. Now this is basically like a lounge area. It's actually a separate bedroom in this one. But what you can do with this, if you've got people who want to stay over occasionally, this will make into a double bed. So basically there are sections that pull out there underneath here, like so, one each side, infill cushions to go on, and then you've got a double bed just there. But most of these are used by couples just for a really luxurious experience. If we head up here, We've got more storage along, all the way along in places like this. And then the kitchen is across here. Now, one thing I really like is they've done this, where you lift this up for the sink, and that's a draining area for plates and cups and your cutlery and so forth, and it means it just drips straight into the sink. That's a really nice touch. And then that's just a little draining board that normally sits in here, but we popped that one in place just so you can see how that works. That you can take on and off, of course. And that, of course, just then swivels around like so. Four burner hob on this one, and it's three gas and one electric. 
so you can choose your source if you're plugged into the mains and you can have your electric cooking if you want it rather than using your gas and then your grill underneath and your cooker like so loads of storage underneath in places like this underneath here i won't open them all but you get the idea i like the finishes in here as well look at this splashback they put on here that looks really nice and again here they've just protected the, the woodwork if we look over on the other side it's got the latest fridge freezer in here microwave tucked in up above and a bit more storage the other thing that you have here is this one slides out and what you've got there is the table it's a freestanding table so you can pop it in there for dining but it also means of course that you can very easily move that outside and uh, that gives you somewhere to have a picnic outside if you want it control panels up here this gives you access to the systems on the vehicle so you can go into uh, water levels for example you can go into battery levels power uh, that's onto the vehicle so charge rates all that kind of stuff that's all access from there and that one is your heating control that's next to it like so there's also a fly screen in here somewhere yeah there we go so if you want the ventilation but not the bugs that's how you do that that is the uh, for the awning that's on the outside so you can winch out the awning but the big news with this if we come right back here so that makes for a really nice lounge and uh, kitchen area but it's actually got a separate bedroom so if we head back here this doorway takes us into here that's luxury isn't it separate bedroom in a motorhome fantastic this is the storage area that we saw on the outside of the vehicle so if i lift this one up you can see what a massive space that is and you can also see that hatch from the outside as i mentioned it is lockable so you have got that security but it's brilliant for things like deck chairs put them in there tuck them out of the way but you don't have to bring them out through here and out of the vehicle you can access it straight from the outside a lot of storage in here it's tucked away in places like this of course but also if i spin on round and close that door look at the size of this wardrobe proper domestic full-size wardrobe i've seen smaller wardrobes and houses than that you've also got things like the wi-fi system is in here as well so you can have wi-fi on the vehicle if you want it and then there's drawers underneath there as well so i mean that is of course full height and that then gives you more storage down underneath there the other thing that you have in here there we go that is the aerial socket again and the power socket for tv so if you want to put a tv in here that goes straight onto the wall it's all ready pre-wired for it all of these got blinds that come up to give you night blinds or drop down again to give you fly screens and they all open for ventilation this is nice this little mirror in here just makes this like a little dressing area so you can sit on here put your stuff on there that's really good more storage again tucked away in places like this more storage down underneath home from home stuff isn't it let's head back a little bit further this then is a bathroom so you've got your loo there again a bit more storage up above it and if you come on round, sink is there and then there's a separate shower area you can see how that completely encloses there's a door here this is to secure it so when you're driving it doesn't obviously flap around but you unhook that and then that will come across there and make that into a completely separate shower area and if you don't want to give up any luxuries but you do want to go motorhoming <laughs> this will do that that's remarkable isn't it superb let's spin on back so that's back into the bedroom and if we head on a bit further that's that huge wardrobe and that's back into the kitchen and the lounge that is luxury motoring isn't it let's go and take a seat up here these are really comfy looking oh yes they feel very comfortable too so there we go huge thanks to nick well motorhomes for organizing this tour huge thanks of course to you guys for watching if you've not subscribed do me a favor hit that subscribe button it really helps the channel and it'll keep you posted new videos coming and we will look forward to catching you on the next one really soon take care Bye bye